In today's world, API powers everything. REST has been the reigning champion. Simpler, popular, but is it fast enough? Then along came gRPC. Fast, lean, made for modern systems. Let's find out who wins. Here's what's coming. Real benchmark data, architecture breakdowns, use cases, developer experience, tooling, and ecosystem comparison. Before we jump into the benchmarks, Let's quickly define what REST and gRPC actually are. REST or Representational State Transfer is a standard way to build web APIs. Client make HTTP requests to endpoint and get response usually in human readable JSON. gRPC on the other hand stands for Google Remote Procedure Call. It's a modern framework that lets client call functions directly on remote servers just like local code. It uses HTTP2 under the hood and exchanges compact binary data using protocol buffers. To compare apples to apples, we build two Go services, one REST, one gRPC, both returning the same user data. We used Apache Bench and GSZ uh, framework to load test gRPC application to send 1000 requests from 50 concurrent clients. Now let's look at the benchmark results side by side. On average, the gRPC server responded in just 0.84 milliseconds, while the REST server took about 3.1 milliseconds. In terms of throughput, gRPC handled over 29,000 requests per second, nearly double REST 60,000. And when we look at the 99th percentile, gRPC still edges out under 5 milliseconds compared to REST 6 milliseconds. Finally, gRPC's binary protobuf messages are also lighter, around 150 bytes, while REST uses JSON, which is bulkier at about 350 to 400 bytes. gRPC is faster thanks to protobuf, a compact binary format HTTP2 multiplexing able to run many streams concurrently and generate stubs which eliminate runtime parsing overhead. Unlike REST limited polling, gRPC offers native streaming, unidirectional and bidirectional ideal for live updates. And its rich type error metadata outperforms basic HTTP error codes. For developer experience, REST wins with tooling like Postman native browser support, human readable JSON, and caching via eTag and cache control. gRPC requires proto definitions and tooling but makes up for it with type safety and code gen. Before we talk about when to use each API, let's look at real world adoption. REST is everywhere, fully supported across every language, framework, browser, and API gateway. Versioning, monitoring, testing, it all works out of the box. gRPC is gaining around fast in cloud native stacks, but browser support still requires tools like gRPC Web or gRPC Gateway, and tooling maturity is still catching up in some languages. Something we haven't covered development effort. A basic REST API can be set up and running in around 10 minutes, while a basic gRPC service with proto files, code generation, and stubs usually takes 3 to 4x longer. gRPC is not just academic, it's powering mission critical systems at Netflix, Google, Spotify, Dropbox, and more. So, when do you use REST and when is gRPC the better fit? REST is ideal when simplicity and interoperability matters most, like building APIs, public APIs, supporting third-party integrations, or enabling browser-based apps. gRPC, on the other hand, shines in internal systems where speed, low latency, and strong typing are crucial, such as microservices, real-time systems, or mobile backend communication. And in many modern architectures, the two work together. REST at the edge, gRPC deep in the backend. Ultimately, it's not REST versus gRPC. It's REST and gRPC when used right. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dive content. Thank you for watching.